Hello, I'm Mike Hetherington uh, with Frankino Mold and the Vice President of Operations here in Lansing, Michigan. Frankino Mold and Engineering, we've been in business since 1955. We were started by Richard Frankino, uh, started in the garage uh, at his house. Uh, built the company up. His son, Bob Franchino, uh, joined the company in 1974. Bob is now the uh, owner of Franchino Mold, uh, so we're a privately held company, uh, about 90 employees right now. Our core competencies consist of die cast dies, plastic injection molds, and we do a, a lot of contract machining. Uh, we are set up to do uh, molds and dyes on in the medium to large scale. Um, we, we've built a tool that came in at uh, weighed 425,000 pounds, so we've built multiple tools that we feel are the largest tools ever built, uh, injection molds uh, ever built. When we were uh, when we, we started our conversations with SST and Makino, what we were looking to do is find uh, a better solution for cutting some of our cavity components. Uh, we wanted to cut them more efficiently, more accurately, and, and we were looking for better surface finishes so that we could take out some of the manual work that we were, that we were currently doing uh, on our inserts, on our, on our work pieces. So uh, we were talking with multiple companies, SST being one of the companies that we were talking with. Uh, from there, we challenged SST with some test cuts that we had had here. When they did that, uh, came back and then we went down there and they showed us how they did it, they showed us the results and uh, at that point it was, um, the decision was made to, to purchase two F5s at that time. Yeah, one, one of the challenges that we had with our previous uh, machine tools that we were using is our maintenance type issues and uh, we're able right now to send a program to the machine go home for the weekend and rely on the fact that the machine is going to be running when we come back in uh, on Monday. And that's that's one of the, the big advantages that we have with the Makinos that we didn't have before is that uh, the machines are accurate, they're repeatable. Not just the machine is repeatable itself, it's the fact that we can take details off of one machine and put it on any one of our six Makinos and be confident that it's gonna run exactly the same on any of our machines. So once we have a process dialed in, uh, we can put, the, put any kind of work pieces on any machine that we want to. You know, in the past with our older machines, we had uh, lack of tooling type issues and lack of work holding type issues that we had here at Frankino. One of the things that we did do was work with uh, SST and we went and bought tooling packages for each one of our machines. We have uh, the first 15 tools and every uh, tool changer for every machine are exactly the same. And what that allows us to do is it allows our programmers to go in there and use uh, uh, standard tools. And inside of our software package we have best practices set up in there for how best to run those tools. So. Uh, the standardization of tooling has been a big advantage for our programmers. Uh, what we're seeing is that the surface finish and the cuts are very good. What we're seeing is that from tool to tool blending is very good, so that leads us into a lot less bench work. As far as Frankino Mold goes, we, we focus on three things. We focus on people, process, and technology. Uh, people being the most important. You've got to have, you've got to attract good people, you've got to train your people, and you've got to retain them. And we work very, very hard to do that. Um, and then second being process. Process we go through and we try and develop standardized processes for everything that we do and then we focus on continuously improving these processes every day. Uh, the next leg that we, that we stand on there is the technology side of things and technology we look at from uh, all aspects of the business. We want to provide the best technology available to our industry, to our employees. We would not be afraid to set something up and run it all weekend. Like we did cut a wicker uh, panel part and they had infinite small detail and we just put a cutter in there and it ran and ran and ran. The machines will, um, they hold great tolerances so we do large tools with small sub-insert components and a lot of the components come off right off the machine and they, they will, they'll fit right into a pocket. We can set these machines up and very, very little problems with machines going down. Uh, we can leave them running unattended you know, on the weekends and come back in and there's no issues. So we, we know what to expect out of these 
machines when we were setting them up. Assembly side of it, we've probably taken 30 to 40% of our polish time out of our inserts just because of the finishes that we can maintain on the inserts. The service that we do get from Makino is just outstanding. You, know, you can call them up and within you know, hours, they'll send you on the right track to get it fixed or there'll be someone up here. So their service is very outstanding on that side of it, but we don't have to use it very often. And you get to know them personally too. It, it's just not as a, you're another customer. When you can see them at tool shows and they, you know, you can talk to them and you know their name, they know your name, you know, it builds those relationships up. So it builds a trust also.